Good morning. It's Wednesday. And that, of course, means because we're in, are we in lockdown? I don't actually know what we're in. But this is the way of things and this is how it's going to run. It's Wednesday and that means a quiz. I'm not doing it with the usual purple background. Um, I've got a white void that I'm preparing just ready for this moment. But in the meantime, I'm going to try and do it here in A5 because, you know, well, why not? Uh, so without further ado and very poor YouTube um, uh, things, um, there, I'm going to uh, do this. Hooray! It works again. So you know how it goes. This is the weekly quiz and it's Wednesday, so it's quiz day. Hooray! I, I can I can hear you all cheering. Um, on with the show. Uh, this is from January the 4th, so it's a couple of days out of date. Now, as usual, I haven't looked ahead. I haven't checked the scores. Uh, I don't know what the answers are going to be. And as usual, I'll ask you to uh, submit your answers. Um, I'll then pick from as many as you submit, and then we'll go over the answers on Friday, and I can submit our scores uh, accordingly. And this time, I think we might have the advantage, because as far as I'm aware, well, the forms don't necessarily play this the way they ought. Um, I'm not casting aspersions. So, which television show announced that the 20th series, which screens next year, so I'm assuming 2022, will be its last? Is it A, The Simpsons? Is it B, Keeping Up With The Kardashians? Or is it C, Ensis? I'll be perfectly honest with you, I literally have no idea. The Simpsons should have died years ago. Is it, is it still going? I, I think it will still be done. Question two. Armed forces in Armenia and Azerbaijan have clashed in a border region last term. I happen to know the name of this border region, but not because I haven't been watching the news, because I haven't, I'll be honest. Where in the world are the countries of Armenia and Azerbaijan? It's not asking about the border region, is it? It's Nagorno-Karabakh. Uh, is it A, the Middle East, B, Northern Africa, or C, Western Asia? That theoretically ought to be easy, but then we thought Nepal was in, in Europe. I'm not naming names, don't worry. Don't worry, Francis. Question three. Why did astronauts on board the International Space Station get woken up in October? Now, you remember this one, I hope. A, they were asked to record a deep space eclipse. B, they had to change their orbit to avoid a small asteroid. Or C, they were asked to hunt for an air leak. Now, you know the answer to that one, I hope. Question four. What is the first name of the man on the right who accidentally hit a ball person or an umpire? I'm not sure which. Uh, in the throat with... Um, well, I'll leave it to you. You should be able to figure that one out. I, I seem to recall we did that quite well. Uh, question five. What new mountain safety feature did officials in the Lake District unveil last term? Was it a jetpack for paramedics, an avalanche bunker, or drone guides for all mountain climbing groups? Again, I think we talked about this one. I can't remember if we got it right, though. Was it a jetpack? I honestly can't remember. Uh, question six. Which royal has joined forces with Sir David Attenborough to launch what will be the largest ever environmental prize, the Earthshot Prize? Is it A, Prince Harry, B, Prince Charles, or C, Prince William? Again, I don't know my royals. Question seven. Which US political party does Joe Biden uh, come from? A, the Conservatives, B, the Republicans, C, the Democrats. Seriously, seriously, you know this one. You know this one. Question eight. What were these US scientists dealing with back in November? Was it A, coronavirus, B, murder hornets, or C, toxic maple syrup? Now, frankly, I, you know the answer to this one. Question nine, which country became the first part of the UK to ban smacking? Was it A, Scotland, B, Northern Ireland, or C, Wales? That's it, that's the only joke I've got, I'm sorry. Question 10. Why is a new film adaptation of Roald Dahl's 1983 book, The Witches, cause controversy? Is it A, it's an all Hollywood production with no British input? I mean, seriously. B, major COVID-19 restrictions were broken during filming. Or C, because of the special effects applied to the witch's hands and feet. Again, I think you know this one. Question 11. How many Formula One world titles has UK driver Lewis Hamilton now won? Not to put you on the spot, Tabby, but I'm relying on you. Is it A, 5, B, 7, or C, 9? Uh, that said, either of, either? Yeah, either of the Jameses could probably, all of the Jameses could probably pitch in on this one. Question 12. Whose life is being commemorated in this event in November? Is it Pele? He's a footballer. George Best? He was a footballer. Or C, Maradona? Uh, 
the only thing I know about George Best is he once said that um, he spent all the money he earned on wine, women and song. The rest he wasted. That, that, that amused me as a quote. Sorry, I'll take everything I can get. I, 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 I'm not going to apologise too much. Question 13. Last month, an RAF aircraft took images of the world's biggest iceberg as it drifted through the South Atlantic. True or false, the iceberg covers a larger area than Wales. Now, we were shocked by this one when we went through it last year. So hopefully you've remembered how this one works. Question 14. Which country had a controversial lottery draw last week with the winning numbers of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10? I'm not sure what's so controversial about that. Well, any number is equally likely to turn up. And therefore, statistically speaking, numbers that are contiguous to one another should turn up, well, as much as any other sequence of numbers. Is it A, France, B, South Africa, or C, Japan? The minimum age of 16-year-olds for playing the National Lottery is set to change. How old will people have to be to buy a lottery ticket from next October? Goodness. Is it A, 15 years old, B, 17 years old, or C, 18 years old? I honestly don't know. I, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's one of the answers, but I, I don't know. In which US state did this strange object first make headlines? Was it A, Arizona, B, Utah, or C, Colorado? I, I wish I had more jokes about US states, but with the state the US is in, <laughs> it's been a long holiday. I've, I've, I've missed teaching. Um, question 17. What changes occurred to the height of the world's highest mountain, Mount Everest, after officials in China and Nepal reached an agreement? A, it's now one metre higher, or B, it's now almost a metre lower. Now, keep in mind that if you're doing geography, you know all about tectonic plate shift, and I'll say no more. Question 18. The UK government recently announced plans to reduce carbon emissions in 2030 by what amount? 28% less than the emissions in 1990, 48% less than the emissions in 1990, or 68% less than emissions in 1990. We had actually signed up to a much more ambitious target. Um, but hey, this sounds good, right? Question 19. Which Netflix show has the culture secretary suggest you should carry a fiction warning because God forbid we don't understand that things on TV are sometimes fiction. So viewers don't assume it is factual. Is it A, Stranger Things, B, The Crown, or C, Queen's Gambit? They're all fictional programs. Question 20. What is the first name of this woman who became an exciting British first? Really? Is it A, Margaret, B, Kate, or C, Susan? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exciting British first. It's an interesting way of framing that one. Anyway, um, that is the quiz. And hopefully you've got some answers. If you can't remember what the questions were, then obviously go back. It's a video. Stop, pause, do what you like. And uh, yeah, do let me know what your answers are. Do have a go. If you can't answer them all, don't worry. Just answer the ones you can answer. Um, any and all input is, well, gratefully received because this is weird. And um, I don't know about you, I, I like to pretend that we can contact one another properly. Uh, but yeah, it would be nice to get in touch. It would be nice to hear what your answers are. Even if it's just a case of telling me you don't know any of the answers, that, that's fine. I, I don't mind. Um, I hope you're all still well. Um, tomorrow will be seer. Uh, we shall be stopping everything to read. Um, I have read one book this holiday, but I'd like to get back into the swing of things. And one advantage of being off is that we get to do that. Anyway, have a lovely rest of day and I shall be in touch tomorrow uh, as normal um, and um, yeah, see you around. <laughs>